नमस्कार सिक्किम क्रॉनिकल में यहाँ सब स्वागत है मानसले चाहे के सकते जस्ते आज मेरे गेस्ट यहाँ हो चंचल सिंह कुनवार वहाँ उत्तराखंड होने वहाँ ले भारत को बाईसवटा राज्य अरुभरी में पंद्रह हजार किलोमीटर अधिक साइक्लिंग कर ट्रावल कर वहाँ बीस हजार अधिक ट्रावल करने वहाँ प्लान रख्भ संदेश ग्लोबल वार्मिंग साथ ही क्लाइमेट चेंज लहाँ के मानसर जन जागरूक कराने का निम्ति यो साइक्लिंग करते हुए विभिन्न राज्य भर रहा यो जानकारी भेक कुरा हो विगत को सौ वर्ष अधिक भाग सौ वर्ष भाग अधिक समय मानस पृथ्वीला सृजना करने ईश्वर मात्र नष्ट करने ईश्वर मात्र होने धारणा बोक थे आज को युग में पृथ्वीला नष्ट करने मानसर ने बनी रखे विभिन्न पर्यावरण लिन्न डिजास्टर भैर अग युग में विभिन्न यो खाल काम अन परिस्थिति परिस्थिति में विभिन्न खा प्रब्लम्स उत्पन्न भैर सृजना सृजना भैर रिन्वाइरोमेंटल एक्टिविस्टर धेरे आवाज उठाने गई रहा पर एकजना इन्वाइरोमेंट एक्टिविस्ट नहीं हो वहाँ अब अन्य राज्य सब वहाँ के साइक्लिंग कर भ्रमण कर मानस भेटी सकूक तैं ब्यूरोक्रैस देखि लीएर पोलिटिशन वहाँ सन्देश राखी सकूक वहाँ हिज मात गांत आई सकूक और वहाँ के यहाँ को मानसर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग साथ ही क्लाइमेट चेंज बारे जनचेतना जगह हुए वहाँ के हमी बताने सेंस वहाँ नेपाली में बोलने सकूँ रहा हम इस जो कन्वर्सेशन छ कन्वर्सेशन इंग्लिश में करने अंग्रेजी में करने I would like to welcome you, not just to Sikkim Chronicle. I would like to welcome to you, uh, Sikkim, uh, to Sikkim also. So, how did you find your Sikkim? Uh, Sikkim is very beautiful, and one one part of uh, this thing is uh, it's very clean. Okay. And uh, as you enter uh, the borders of uh, you know this West Bengal and Sikkim, so you see organic Sikkim. Uh, uh, so it actually it's it's a good feel to see or uh, somewhere somebody is actually uh, you know working. Some state is actually working uh, towards you know healthy food. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, what I want to ask firstly is, you have been traveling a uh, different parts of the state, uh, different parts of the country, different states. Uh, you have covered 22 states. So, what is your message for not just for ordinary people, but for you know, you know the state as a whole, for bureaucrats along with the politicians? Okay. So, this uh, like the purpose behind uh, the journey uh, is uh, to spread awareness towards uh, climate change and global okay. warming. Uh, the way uh, this global warming uh, has spiked from 1965, and more recently, it has spiked more uh, since 2016. Uh, and uh, no one else uh, we can blame than ourselves uh -huh. because of our uh, you know individual uh, need and uh, so sorry thing for going behind you know un unwanted things. Uh, so the climate, uh, like the climate is changing, and uh, the reason behind this global warming. So there are three messages which I actually want uh, uh, to spread uh, across uh, the country uh, as an awareness. The first one is uh, to plant trees, and not just to plant single trees, but to create jungles. A lot of people come together, like you know, schools, societies, universities, uh, states. You know, they all come together and plant jungles. The reason behind not just to plant single trees and Uh, to, uh, to to uh, to to create a jungle is because jungles absorb around more than 30 percent of uh, the carbon which yeah, is yes. in our environment, and uh, <clears throat> so it will uh, some somewhere so, you know um, take away uh, most of uh, the carbon from the environment, and uh, how we can plant trees. Because uh, yes, we say everybody understands the importance of planting trees, but how can we bring this in, in, in the uh, like regulatory in the legislation? So what I believe is, you know, if we can plant a tree after every new baby born, if the like uh, the state government or the central government makes a regulatory where they say every new baby born you have to plant a tree, and just imagine how many babies are born in a second, uh -huh. and. Uh, 16 babies are born in a second so how many trees will we able to plant in a minute in a hour in a day in a month in a year and years to come so somewhere you know uh, right uh, from uh, when uh, when uh, this uh, after agriculture uh, 
uh, agriculture revolution we came to know about you know we can plant sow seeds and all so we cleaned the jungles then the industrial revolution came we cleaned the jungles and now when we are making you know houses and every any small thing which we make create or something so we create you know we just clean the jungles but at the same time the say the population and sorry the pollution in the air is increasing so previously we had a balance of kind of you know tree nature ecosystem and all and pollution but now the like pollution is on spike but we are not doing anything towards you know reviving uh, the ecosystem or planting trees or something so in this way i believe we can uh, plant more trees and bring the balance somewhere close by there is a japanese professor called akira miyawaki so he has this technique where you know in a small place of land also 30 yards or something you can actually create a jungle you can create an ecosystem and all so like i feel that uh, we have um, uh, you know impressed a lot over you know like pressed a lot over saying aadhar is your identity aadhar is your identity yes aadhar might be your identity but at the same time we can also say that okay if we plant trees and save that tree so it should be you know it should be added in your identity that if you go for any services then you have to prove that okay you have planted and saved a tree mm-hmm. additionally what else you can do is you can plant a tree on every birthday of yours any new occasion anywhere you go instead of you know uh, taking things for which are unnecessary not required you know uh, if you have a birthday i come to your place i give you a gift no i can give you a tree sapling you can plant it somewhere so in that way i believe that uh, we can actually you know bring this uh, balance of pollution and uh, 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 like, uh, like, let's say, reviving uh, the planet somewhere. Okay. Down the so way. you talk about global warming, and you also talk about climate change. Right. So uh, the you know the, there is a population or there is a faction of people, the growing faction of people that believes that climate change is just a hoax, <laughs> and it is the brainchild of Western countries because uh, when it was their time to you know, go for industrial evolution and all, they did all that they can do. Right. They accumulated all kind of wealth, and now when it comes to the developing countries like India and all, so when they try to you know get to that place to have the industrial revolution and all, now they are talking about climate change, global warming and all, and it is all. all just to suppress you know the growth and development of a developing nation so that they, they do not come in a competition with them so what do you have to say on yeah, that okay so uh, how many of us uh, uh, you know are say like grandparents uh, had air conditions in their homes when they were growing up maybe none of us <laughs> none of us none of them. yeah or uh, like parents if you say the ratio of having air conditions air conditioners at their home would be 60 40 kind of this mm-hmm. how many of us have air condition everyone has air condition air, air sorry ac is in their homes w- w- what is the n- no that the need that we ac has become a need today previously the temperature was cool so we did not require even the fan also mm-hmm. but today we are not even thinking just fan we are talking about air conditioners so this is an you know example of saying yes the temperature is increasing and mm-hmm. is increasing like anything mm-hmm. since 1965 the industrial revolution have come and the way we have destroyed everything from land to air to water everything here if we say that no it's a hoax made by the you know the other countries from the west those who are already developed and all if they are understanding it you know it's you no know, temperature spiking we are a developing country we are not even like ready uh, to you know take actions against it so those who believe that you know uh, like this global warming is it's, it's like just a thing which has been made up take your acs fans and everything out of your home and if you see stop drinking that plastic water and if you see if you can survive and in another 20 years when your new generation like the generation next comes uh, you see you know if they experience global warming or not 
Okay, so uh, there has been a lot of things that has been done by the government when it comes to climate change and global warming. Uh, the government of India and the state governments have been doing a lot. So, as an activist, how do you see the these things being done by the government? You know, the policies that are put, they, they are putting forward for to tackle how to tackle the climate change and global warming. Is it enough or is it not enough? It's not at all enough. I don't even like believe if anyone is even working over it. Okay, there are NGOs. Those who are working over it uh, what what i what i believe is uh, it must be on the paper mm -hmm. because uh, when you when, when you take off uh, take off uh, you know when you uh, see these uh, you know uh, we, we we are making new roads we are constructing new dams we are inviting uh, you know uh, new industrial uh, things in our country and all so it's it's like we we are not at all serious about it if anyone anyone has to bring a change it it has to be us mm -hmm. because this practice of going for you know this habit of going for new things have to be stopped then only only when we like say no no to all those products which you do not require the company will stop making them Obviously, if there are organizations, those who are working behind it, I actually like do not know. I am very new to this. I already, I only started talking about climate change and global warming when I started my journey, and after that only I started doing my research. Okay, so. Uh there also has been a talk about you know uh, switching to renewable sources of energy you know the yeah. solar energy so the the one thing that is most prevalent in hilly region you I mean the mountainous region like second is the hydroelectric power projects and all the big hydroelectric power projects that builds dams and all so this is not creating a problem for global warming also this is not creating for a problem for climate change also but it is creating a problem in environment you know uh, there has been a disaster in uh, environment in the environment in the hilly regions many people have lost their lives you know so what do we have to say on that because government is you know pushing forward to these kinds of projects in a you know or in a harsh manner or what we say or in a you know big manner they are investing a lot of their you know energy they are investing thousands of crores of rupees in these kinds of projects but still people are suffering in the grassroots so what do we have to say on that first of all when we say that hydraulic uh, power plants are eco friendly and all and mm -hmm. they are not creating any global warming uh, how do hydraulic plants work? They also consume energy, right? Mm. So in that way, they are causing, they are also causing uh, you no know, global warming. Mm -hmm. Anything which emits uh, dangerous gases in the air, so it it is responsible for global warming. And like how you said uh, that in hilly hilly regions, uh, government is creating dams and all, which. Uh, but for first, I would say that there are few states, those who are saying that uh, we should give free, free electricity uh, to some section of the people. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we have the same price of electricity for all the sections of uh, the earning group. Like how we have uh, income tax slabs, I think the same way we should, we should have uh, you know, the slabs for how people make the payments. If you are earning more, you are using more energy, then you, you should pay more. And uh, coming back to your question of you know creating dams in hilly region, Joshimat is an example, yes, recent example. Yes, recent example. Recent okay. example. How how like this like like like, like this uh, disastrous this could be. Okay, I also would like to add, while you were traveling from Siliguri to Gangtok, you must have seen the Tista, the situation of Tista yes, out there. Yes, as, uh, when, when, when I was riding uh, up Tista and also the, 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 like, the Tista river has been blocked uh -huh. by creating yes. a dam. And you can actually see uh, when they like, we stop uh, the, uh, you know, activity by the nature. The n nature tries to make its own way and now it is trying to cut the hills around that you know dam and the whole way it is like that and the kind of now we are constructing roads around uh, like you know aside to that uh, river mm -hmm. so all this debris and all it has been thrown in the water mm -hmm. so that again is actually you know in future it will again create a lot of uh, you know problems for the people those who are staying here some day some uh, you know lands like earthquake something like comes this place is going to get wiped off from the map because it is all hilly right so means see if we already have electricity with us try to use it in 
in a way in which we sh- should require it not overusing it mm-hmm. and i think we should have a slab of payment uh, in you know if we have a slab in income tax and all where people are earning more money so they are paying more tax in the same way if we talk about just electricity people should pay more those who are consuming more electricity mm. and then we see we are talking about you know going clean energy or something we want take coal for making energy and there are few governments who are talking about okay we will give free electricity we do not have electricity in for the future and you are saying that we will give free energy so then we'll have to search options for hydraulic uh, electricity like you know like like electricity from hydraulic plants and all and then one day this kind of disaster will happen and it will happen man nature you know uh, will t- take its 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 revenge for sure it has like before and it will again okay so um when it comes to climate change and global warming everyone talks about it you know everyone thinks that we are doing something for you know tackle these things or suppress this thing basically the government you know whenever there is a huge summit regarding climate change and global warming every every country, the government of every country countries comes with their plans and their projects and what they have done in the past you know what they are doing to tackle this kind of things india has also done those kinds of thing uh, be it cop you know the the summit out there be it any kind of summits india is always forward in and in, in, in our position that you no know, we are doing this we are doing that to do this and that but when it comes to grassroots level these are the uh, you know primary factors new these are the primary thing that they, they they are the primary ones who are doing this kind of thing maybe it government rally you know not government rallies political rallies and all be it political spendings and all they are, they have been doing this kind of thing since many years you know uh, putting up big hoardings hoarding, and all they have been using this kind of flags and all plastic flags and all so they are you know in paper they are doing but in reality or in the ground route they are not do- doing anything to tackle this kind of thing so what do you have to say on that so it is good that we are talking about this thing here and i hope uh, you know you air this also mm-hmm. uh, as i said on day 2 itself when i was traveling so i raised this uh, voice against har ghar tiranga the campaign that, that was launched by yes, government of india yes yeah. and, and uh, the prime minister of the country was the face of it Mm-hmm. that every house should uh, like display a flag in front of you know in front of their house mm-hmm. uh, and prove uh, kind of you know people were saying okay that's how they can prove that they are patriotic and all <laughs> how many houses are there in this country how many houses are there millions billions and all trillions mm-hmm. every house if they go for a flag how many flags do we have to print million trillions and all Mm-hmm. where do we make these flags we do we stitch these flags by our hand do we, we like weave these uh, flags no it is made in the industry mm-hmm. and industrial process is the most uh, one of the top most uh, uh, this thing which is actually you know uh, like what is uh, adding to the global warming and if at the same time we would have told har ghar hariyali where people would have planted a tree in front of their house and said okay only when you have a tree in in, in front of your house then only you are patriotic then i would have been very happy with mm-hmm. and again you know as you said now we are the chairman or prime minister the chairman at uh, the climate change and all so and again what steps is he personally uh, taking and uh, what what address he is showing to the nation his party uh, i was in tripura and every 10 meters they have this flag every 10 with the bamboo stick mm-hmm. that bamboo can create houses for people and like if th- that flag all those flags can be joined it can c- create clothes for those who actually need it right mm-hmm. why do you have to you know show something that okay this place has been you know uh, ruled by so and so party why do you have to do that when you are talking about global warming you know that those flags those hoardings you know those rallies in which you you know you go on a bike you know there are thousands of people on the bike there are jeeps and all 
they are like you know uh, uh, what is the need for it if you are talking about yes we are very serious about climate change global warming and all what step uh, the prime minister himself if, is taking what what steps is his part it, it is his party taking mm-hmm. at their core end we are always been fooled they say we have to do this what are you doing at your end you are the prime minister of this country you say something har ghar tiranga people just get mad and they plant this you know flag and you ask them do not do this we do not need rallies we do not need these flags we do not need these bikes and all in our rallies quietly come there is a digital media available to, uh, prime minister can go on you know on some social media network something and all and all these guys uh, you know those who are fan of this person they can switch their you know this uh, whatever like devices they have and they can just listen to it there itself you don't have to go around hooting shouting and all all across the state or across the country what what kind of you know activity uh, and you are doing and what you are saying it's not thinking actually so yes it is all it 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 is on the paper and it will always be on the paper if any change has to be brought it has to be by individual people like us okay when we say no we do not want to go for individual flags t-shirts shoes socks anything it could be anything a needle a thread or anything till the time it is not required i am not going to go for it buy for it you want to make your products in your industry you make it in the, in your industry but i am not going to buy it how long will you keep that product with you i will come only when it is required i am going to discourage you so if everybody starts acting like this and at the same time when everyone participates in you know actively in understanding and then acting over you know bringing this global temperature down mm-hmm. then i think some days some after some years or something we will be able to bring that balance between that you know this uh, green house gases and and the kind of uh, clean air which we need somebody has you know if we say somebody has to do it nobody will do it only we have to do it okay so the a uh, person that has to be an example is from the prime minister level only okay so you talked about you know the seriousness that people have to show towards these things so do you think the politicians and of yesterday and politicians of t- today were serious about these things or is serious about these things <laughs> i don't know think no no one is serious about uh, climate change global warming they are only serious about you know uh, who who will take that chair okay <laughs> uh, so You have been traveling uh, since August last year and you have covered 22 states and you have traveled more than 15000 kilometers so how has been your experience traveling all these different states See my experience has been uh, really wonderful I've met uh, so many people from so many different states when uh, I've been to JNK this Baramilla and all I've done gone down south Tamil Nadu and all I've gone Arunachal everywhere from gujarat and all all uh, every part of the country uh, every state is uh, very beautiful and uh, the people from every state whom i met were very beautiful they 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 had actually helped me in every possible way where they could do and uh, yes means i the kind of experience what people uh, used to you know talk about the experiences which i had were totally opposite and those were beautiful memories Okay so since you are in Sikkim and Sikkim has long been you know the advocate of this climate change and global warming we have been the people of Sikkim has been working to conserve nature and you know the environmental aspects and all so do you have any message for the of our viewers or the people of Sikkim about your visit and also the thing that you stand for uh yes uh first of all uh, it's it's great to be here in Sikkim i always had and people always used to tell me this is the most uh, beautiful clean and beautiful part of the country and uh, i always used to think uh, some day i will go visit uh, you know sikkim and today i am here and i can actually uh, see the same but people were talking about and also uh, what i as as i said before sikkim is an organic state and uh, 
other uh, states uh, should uh, like learn from this state of going organic the process there has to be a process of going organic because if you just go night aaj raat 8 baje se there will be no org- no no fertilizers and this and that so uh, the, uh, like the economy gets disrupted how sri lanka lost uh, yeah. most of its economy uh, trying to go organic so i think uh, you guys uh, like the other states should also learn from sikkim and uh, f- follow uh, the way how the whole state has turned organic and uh, cleanliness also is one thing and yes if uh, people here are participating and actively working towards uh, bringing uh, the global temperature down i think please do continue uh, your journey because uh, what i believe is only a revolution uh, can now bring uh, change in getting bringing this global temperature down and if you guys are you know fighting against uh, the dam projects please continue it because it is uh, the need of the hour that uh, when we know that something is dangerous for us so we uh, start acting towards it and uh, we until uh, the time it, they do not stop it we keep we keep to we have to you know be uh, c- c- come on the roads out of our comfort zones and uh, raise our voices uh, and uh, you know talk about our demands Okay so thank you so much for your time and also explaining us you know the things about climate change global warming the perils of it and also the possible solutions so thank you so much we all wish you luck for your future travels your 5000 kilometers is left for your travels you will be covering your uh, you will be finishing your travel in, in the month of uh, uh, maybe i think it will take another 2 months, two months or okay so time. we wish you luck for that okay so thank you so much for your time ra wa hununthyo chanchal singh kunwar wa uttarakhand bada hununcha bhane wa le bibhinna bharat ko bibhinna rajya haru bhai sikkim ma hija hai pugnu bhayeko cha ra waha ko jun sandesh cha global warming ra climate change jalwayu parivartan lai liyera manis haru ma jan chetana jagauna ga nimti waha le yesari travel gariranu bhayeko cha cycle ma ra yeste anya khabar ko lagi hedai garnu sikkim chronicle